Hey guys, it's Phil here from Gen Tea. If you're new to the channel, on this channel we cover all kinds of awesome Chinese tea related topics such as tea travel, how to brew, tea making, and much more. We also have a web boutique where you can get great fine Chinese tea and you can count on the quality being top notch. Today's video is a little bit of a funny video for a tea vendor because today we're going to talk about when not to drink tea. You may have heard of the legendary Chanon, the discoverer of tea. Well, he was also the discoverer of many Chinese herbs and foods. And in order to discover these foods, he had to eat all kinds of crazy stuff. And eventually, he got poisoned. And it was tea, the tea that he found and ate, that saved him. And although it's a legend, this property that saved Chenong is actually something that can counteract the effects of medicines. For example, certain Chinese medicines contain alkaloids and proteins, and those react with the tannins in tea, greatly reducing their effectiveness. The same is true for some categories of Western drugs, in particular metal-based drugs like calcium or iron supplements. The T polyphenols cause chelation, which makes them hard to digest. Another category of drugs is a little bit obvious, and it's the sedative hypnotic category. When we're trying to chill out and relax, perhaps caffeine isn't the best thing to achieve that. And that's exactly why tea isn't recommended with these drugs. And finally, there's enzyme-based drugs. For example, drugs you might use to boost your gut microbiota. Again, T polyphenols are the culprit here, making these drugs less effective. One of the reasons I made this video is because I used to often wash down various medicines with tea. Maybe you do too. We're tea lovers after all. But Jen told me one day, hey, there's some reasons you may not want to do that. So I thought I'd share them with you. Of course, always follow the instructions on your medicines packaging or the supplements packaging, and of course, follow instructions from your doctor. And a simple guide that I use is I, I just wait 30 minutes between taking medicine or supplements and having tea. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and even subscribing to our channel for more great content. Until next time, keep steeping!